All right, guys, I'm going to try to make this as quick as I possibly can. This is my custom dolly that I made recently. I built it off of a couple different concepts that you can find online. I'll do a little price breakdown for you guys, and hopefully this might be an idea you might be able to do. So first and foremost, I wanted to build a new dolly. Ideally, I would like to build one that's about five or six feet long, but I plan to be traveling soon, and I need something a little bit smaller, durable, but also versatile. Now, when you look online, you're gonna find the price ranges ranging from anywhere from $150 to over $350. So let's get into it. I'm gonna lose my tripod here because it's gonna make it easier. So basically what I did for the top piece is I got a piece of 3 4 inch wood. I bought these two trucks, independent trucks from a local skate shop, a couple wood screws, as well as these wheels, and our top piece it's good to go. Now onto the track. The track is made from a material called Unistrut. This is usually found in the electrical department. Now my track is three feet in length. I connected them with three four hole Unistrut flat connector pieces. As you can see, it's a normal hex bolt, washer, nut, and then we got these little floor stops you can buy at Walmart. it right on top of there. Now of course the ones for the middle that I bought were smaller so that when it's laying flat you can see that these aren't touching. Now the track itself because it has these ridges in here the wheels have to be big enough to ride on the rails and not inside. One of the DIY builds that I found on the internet showed that in this middle plate you can drill a hole and put the bottom part of a tripod on here so this can sit on a heavy duty tripod. Unfortunately, during my build and our first run through, I destroyed both my tripods, so that's gonna have to be phase two of this project. You can see that it sits on here pretty smoothly. Pretty simple design, and it gets the job done. All right, day two, and we got the camera mounted on and ready to go. Give it a little push, yeehaw. All right, so I'll explain this really quick. I added this little loop right here so that a string can be attached. Have a little bit more play with how fast or how slow this thing can move. Now the tripod head is, I hope I'm pronouncing this correct, is made by a company called Calumet. It's got three different arms. The first one moves it left and right. The second moves the whole body left and right. And the top moves it back and forth. Not too bad for a DIY build, right? <laughs> 